So you're planning to create the next big indie game, but you're struggling to pick an engine. Well, I've got the answer. Bevy. It's fast, lightweight, and uses cutting edge technology. And best of all, it's completely free. But don't just take my word for it. Here are 10 reasons to use Bevy for your next project. It's Rust all the way down. Let's start with what might be the most derisive point on this list, the language. Bevy is built entirely in Rust, and so all your game logic will also be in Rust. Rust is powerful, offering C-like performance, high-level features similar to C++, and a rich standard library comparable to c -sharp. But where Rust really shines is its safety. Rust compiler prevents a whole class of bugs, especially those related to memory management and concurrency, before your game even runs. But these strengths can feel restrictive at first. If you're coming from C or C++, Rust's borrow checker can feel strict. It enforces rules about data ownership that prevent bugs, but may initially feel quite frustrating when you're trying to do something and the borrow checker says that's unsafe. If you're coming from something like C Sharp or Java, manually managing memory and references without a garbage collector may take some adjusting. Developers coming from interpreted languages such as JavaScript or Python might find Rust's strong static type system overly verbose at first, as you must explicitly define your data types. But this pays off with clearer error messages, safer code, fewer bugs, and self-documenting code. There is one big trade-off though, compile times. Rust's thorough safety checks mean that the compile times can take quite a while, especially on initial compiles, where compiling Bevy and all of its dependencies can take several minutes. And even small changes may result in 30 second plus recompiles as, as Rust needs to relink everything together to make the final application. Yet this upfront cost can save you a lot down the line in development time when you don't have to try and track down a certain types of bugs related to memory management or concurrency. The second big reason you want to use Bevy is it's simple. You might be thinking, Rust is so strict, Bevy must have tons of boilerplate just to get things working. But actually, no. Bevy actually takes advantage of Rust's rich type system to cut down on boilerplate. It leans into Rust's safety and compile time checks to offer a clean, minimal, and ergonomic interface. With nothing more than the data's type, Bevy will handle data access, system scheduling, and parallelism all automatically. Because Bevy leans so heavily into Rust's type system, they've done their absolute best to remove all the boilerplate. You'll find very little boilerplate needed for most common tasks. Many features in Bevy require no explicit setup and use type inference entirely, while some features can be ready with no more than a simple derived tag, while Bevy still gives you the flexibility to manually implement these traits yourself if you need to, unlocking the true power of what Bevy is possible while still leaving it accessible to newcomers. An example of where Bevy completely removes boilerplate through type inference is with systems, which are the part of your code that actually run the logic. Systems in Bevy are just regular Rust functions, with the small requirement that all of the types used in their parameters implement the system param trait. When you add these functions to your application using add systems, Bevel uses Rust's powerful type system to automatically determine how to integrate with other systems without requiring any explicit declarations from you. You simply write the function with the parameters for the data you need. And Bevy will intelligently come up with all the restrictions that your system has about when it can run to be able to access data without breaking any of Rust's safety guarantees. Bevy ensures that two systems do not run concurrently if they could potentially have conflicting access to shared data. For example, multiple systems can run safely simultaneously if they only require read access to the same data. But if a system needs write access, Bevy ensures exclusive execution. Systems that don't interact with the same data at all can run in parallel without any restrictions, maximizing performance through parallelization. Moreover, Bevy allows the creation of custom parameter types by implementing or deriving the system param trait. This enables you to bundle frequently used parameters into single reusable types, further reducing boilerplate and enhancing code readability. The data used in Bevy systems is equally straightforward, simply Rust structs or enums. There's minimal boilerplate required. You only need to derive or implement specific traits provided by Bevy to indicate how the data will be managed and accessed. For instance, marking a type with the resource trait indicates a single shared instance accessible globally by systems, whereas deriving component indicates multiple unique instances tied to individual entities. These traits help Bevy optimize memory use and improve data locality for even faster execution speeds. Additionally, traits like event and state allow for clear, structured handling of interactions and state transitions within your game logic, further emphasizing Bevy's simplicity yet powerful data management approach. As you become more familiar with Bevy, you can choose to manually implement these traits or use the more sophisticated derived parameters, granting you greater control and flexibility while still maintaining Bevy's ease of use for other users. Point three, batteries are included. 
Bevy comes equipped with everything you need to quickly kickstart your game development. One might even say that the batteries come included. Bevy provides dedicated crates for nearly every essential feature you'll need for making a game. Rendering is straightforward, supporting both 2D and 3D graphics. There is a perspective and orthographic camera projection for if that's your thing, and dynamic lighting and the possibility to add a UI layout. Bevy's input system is simple yet robust, effectively handling keyboard and mouse inputs, gamepad interactions, and even touch inputs. This means you can easily develop games that run seamlessly on phone, tablet, or touchscreen devices. The engine also boasts a specialized audio system capable of handling directional sound, adjusting volume and stereo balance to accurately represent the position in the game world or play sounds globally for background music or effects. Bevy's powerful asset server allows for asynchronous asset loading and includes built-in loaders for common asset formats like PNG or GLTF files, as well as the ability to add your own custom asset loaders. It simplifies asset management by tracking how many things are using an asset and unloading it automatically when nothing is using it. It also has the ability to enable hot reloading. This will cause Bevy to watch for changes of loaded assets and reload them if they are modified. For building user interfaces, Bevy provides the fundamentals, such as buttons, and a Flexbox layout system. However, for more complicated user interfaces, you might require a supplementary third-party crate. Additionally, Bevy includes helpful built-in diagnostic tools to track performance metric like frame rate, entity count, and asset usage. The diagnostic framework is fully customizable, enabling you to set up your own diagnostics and benchmarks tailored to your specific development needs. Finally, Bevy also takes care of window creation and managing your game loop. By simply adding the default plugins, you instantly have a functioning window and a capped frame rate at 60 FPS. Alternatively, you can only add the minimal plugins. This will set up a basic uncapped loop and won't spawn a window. Getting started is so easy that you can have a game window and a basic loop set up within six lines of code. And in fewer than 50 lines of code, you can have something on screen responding to the user's input. Next up, we have cross-platform by default. Because Bevy provides first party crates for most of the features you'd want when building a game, it's truly cross-platform right out of the box. You don't have to worry about checking whether a third party crate supports the target platform. Bevy handles all the heavy lifting for you. With unified APIs and thoughtfully designed abstraction layers, Bevy offers seamless support for Windows, Mac, Linux, WebAssembly, iOS, and Android, often with minimal or no additional setup required. That said, mobile support, while present, might require a bit more manual configuration and testing compared to desktop or web targets. I haven't personally deployed to iOS or Android, so I can't speak to the a process firsthand. Community support and documentation is available. And if that's not enough, Bevy's even started experimenting with no STD support. That's right, Pico Bevy, everyone. One of the core enablers of this flexibility is Bevy's powerful asset server, which handles all possible file systems behind the scenes. Whether your game is running on desktop, mobile, or on the web, you use the same API to load all assets, whether that's textures, models, audio, or your own custom asset format. No conditional logic or platform specific code required. This makes it incredibly easy to distribute your game across different platforms. Want to let players try it instantly in the browser? Just compile for WebAssembly. Want the full performance and access of a native build? Compile for a desktop. With Bevy, both approaches are equally seamless and require zero platform specific adjustments from you. Point five, built for speed. Bevy is designed from the ground up to be data driven and this focus pays off. Everything in Bevy is built to be fast, flexible, and efficient right from the start. Unlike object-oriented programming, which groups data and behavior together into monolithic objects, Bevy embraces a different approach, separating logic and data to keep both clean and performant. This separation allows Bevy to operate with remarkable memory efficiency. Systems are written to operate on small, focused pieces of data, which can then be reused or recombined into larger, more complex behavior. Because Bevy doesn't require access to all the data at once, it avoids pulling unrelated data into memory, increasing cache locality and allowing for faster iteration over related data. As an example of this, lots of entities have a transform and a visibility component. This defines their position in the world and if they should render. A system that moves an entity to the left simply needs access to the transform data, so Bevy ensures that all the transform data is tightly packed in memory and not spaced apart by the visibility data, making a system blazingly fast. This design also means that behavior is applied based on data present, not class inheritance. 
If an entity has a transform, it can be moved. No extra setup or function implementation required, just the presence of the data is enough. Since systems only access the data they are explicitly declare, Bevy can safely run systems in parallel as long as they don't have conflicting read-write access, maximizing performance without risking unsafe behavior. Another strength of data-driven design is code reusability. You can write generic purpose systems that apply behavior to an entity with the right combination of components. For instance, you can have a system that moves an entity towards a target each frame, while leaving it up to other systems that might run AI a pathfinding algorithm or decision-making logic to assign the target. The movement logic stays clean, isolated, and universally usable. This isn't an afterthought or an abstraction layer built on top. This is Bevy's foundation and is part of what makes the engine feel both powerful and user-friendly. Point six, an ECS. Built to scale, be flexible, but never break. One of the biggest reasons to choose Bevy is that it's built on a true entity component system or ECS architecture, a modern approach to game logic that excels at scaling complexity and maintaining flexibility without sacrificing performance. With an ECS, your game logic is made up of systems, functions that operate on data, components, small pieces of data, and entities, IDs that group components together. This model lets Bevy avoid many of the pitfalls common to traditional object oriented engines like deep inheritance trees and brittle class hierarchies. What really makes an ECS powerful is how it naturally avoids fragile dependencies. In Bevy, a system simply doesn't have access to an entity if that entity doesn't have the required components. There's no need to check for null references or wrap every bit of logic in conditions. If an entity doesn't have the appropriate data, not only does the system not get access to said data, but the system is completely unaware that the entity even exists. This means that you don't even lose time iterating over a list of entities that don't have the data. Bevy, under the hood, make sure that the entities that you are provided are only the entities that have the data. It's not just checking that the entity has valid data before giving it to you. This makes your code more reliable and much easier to maintain. This also leads to increased flexibility. If an entity has a transform and a velocity, it can move by that amount every frame. If it has a mass component, it can be affected by gravity. You don't need to create special classes for each type of behavior. You just add or remove components and the right system will run on the right entity. It's also incredibly scalable. Bevy's ECS engine is designed to run as much in parallel as safely as possible. Because each system declares exactly what data it needs, Bevy can automatically determine which systems can run at the same time without conflict, maximizing utilization of all CPU cores. And you can even have granular control over when things run. You can easily configure systems to only run when certain conditions are met after specific other systems have already completed or as part of a clearly defined schedule. This makes managing complex logic simpler since you only need to define the relationships between systems that actually rely on each other, not between a system and every other system that could potentially run. ECS has even make integration with third-party crates easier. Since everything interacts through shared data and a declared access path, your systems don't actually need to know what other systems are in your application, creating a highly modular and composable development environment for example, if you've already started developing your game and have a bunch of systems about moving the player around and then decide that you want to add physics using the Bevy Rapier plugin, there's no need to update any of your player control logic. Since Bevy Rapier will be using the same transform data as your player move controller, then your player move controller will still work with or without the Bevy Rapier plugin being present in your game. In short, ECS isn't just technical details in Bevy, it's a feature. One of that makes your game logic simpler, faster, and more flexible. Next up is hot reloading for rapid iteration. Earlier, I mentioned Bevy's excellent asset management systems, but one function that really stands out is hot reloading. This allows Bevy to actively watch for changes in any asset you've loaded and automatically update them when the game is running. So if you tweak a texture, a model, or a configuration file, Bevy will reload it without needing to restart the game. Incredibly useful when you're tuning a visual effect, adjusting sounds, or trying to capture a specific atmosphere. Instead of rebuilding your game every time, you can set up your test scene once and keep iterating on the assets until it feels right. It speeds up your workflow significantly, and not just for our assets, even custom assets benefit from this. Although you'll need to write a small system to propagate changes to the world if your logic doesn't rely on the asset handle directly every frame. For example, if you're using a custom asset to define physics properties with Rapier, you'll need to detect that the asset has been updated and manually update the components responsible in Rapier. Hot reloading also helps mitigate Rust's long compile times, which can otherwise slow down development. Since 
since you can test changes without recompiling, you get faster iteration cycles and stay in the creative flow longer, all without sacrificing the safety and correctness that Rust guarantees at compile time. Bevy is completely modular. Bevy isn't just a game engine that tacks pieces on so that it can look good in marketing material. Looking at you, Unity Dots. Nor does it glue on features like glitter. They look nice to look at, but as soon as you touch them, God, do they get on everything and are impossible to remove later, leading to huge bloated binaries again. Looking at you, Unity. Instead, Bevy is made like a well-constructed machine. Every piece is bolted in, but designed to be swapped out, extended, or replaced when needed. It is truly a modular framework, built from the ground up to be flexible, customizable, and adaptable to your specific needs. Every part of Bevy is built as a plugin. This means you're in control. Don't need the built-in UI system? Leave it out. Want to replace the audio playback with something more tailored to your project? You can. This modular architecture makes it easy to trim down Bevy to the essentials or swap out components with your own without breaking the core engine. This is great for squeezing up maximum performance, especially on constrained platforms like WebAssembly or embedded devices. It also allows you to expand experiment freely, building your own renderer, input handler, or ECS extensions. Bevy doesn't fight you. It invites you to expand and customize it. Better yet, these modules scale with your project. Start simple with the default plugins, and as your game grows, gradually swap in your own systems or performance-tuned versions. You don't have to commit to a monolithic design up front. Bevy grows with you and lets you grow beyond it when you're ready. Number nine, great community. Bevy has an amazing community. It's one of the underrated strengths of Bevy. Whether you're just getting started or already deep into a project, Bevy makes it clear that when you are building your game, you don't have to do it all yourself. There is a huge array of community created content to guide you. Videos that break down the basics, in-depth tutorials and example projects you can dig into and learn from. The Bevy website features a dedicated section for community plugins, showcasing tools and extensions built by fellow developers that you can drop directly into your game to save you time and solve problems. And if you get stuck, the Bevy Discord and subreddit are both active and incredibly welcoming. People are always happy to help debug an issue, explain a feature, or offer feedback on your latest creation. It's not just helpful, it's genuinely encouraging. Whether you're asking a question or showing off a project, you're met with support and enthusiasm. Bevy also regularly hosts game jams, which are a great way to dive in, build something fast, and connect with other developers in the ecosystem. These events highlight just how active and passionate the Bevy user base really is. Even though Bevy gives you all the tools to build your own game, you're never really on your own. The community is there to back you up, inspire you, and help you turn your ideas into something real. On to point number 10. Bevy is completely free and open source and proudly intends to stay that way. There are no hidden fees, no gated features behind premium licenses and absolutely no royalties. If your indie game becomes the next big thing, you won't suddenly find yourself paying for every download or giving up a cut of your revenue to a corporate giant. This might sound obvious, but in today's world of big name game engines, it's a breath of fresh air. Just ask the folks caught up in Unity's licensing chaos or those wading through Unreal's revenue share fine print. Bevy has none of this. It's not a corporation trying to monetize your success. It's a community focused project built by and for developers. And here's where it really shines. Because Bevy is open source, you can actually see how it works. If something doesn't behave the way you expect, you can look under the hood and find out why. You're not waiting for a bug report to maybe be addressed in the next quarterly roadmap. You can trace it, fix it, and even submit a pull request. Better still, you can have a real voice in where Bevy is heading. Bevy development happens in public. You can read RFCs, join discussions, suggest features, and help sh shape the engine for the future. This isn't just software you use, it's software you can grow with, learn from, and be part of. Finally, we are at a secret 11th point, and that is Bevy 0.16 is out now. If I've timed this correctly, which, you know, maybe not, then 0.16 released today, and you can go check it out. This means that all the new features, implementations, and quality of life updates will be at your fingertips to explore and dive in. Whether you're starting something new or porting an old project over, now is the perfect time to get started with Bevy. You should find a link to the official post of the 0.16 release in the description. If not, remind me in the comments. It means I forgot to update it when the actual release came out. This video was recorded before it came out. Go check it out and see what's new in Bevy 0.16. Now that all the new folks are off exploring Bevy 0.16, I just wanted to take a moment to thank my Kofi supporter. Your contributions are genuinely appreciated. Uh, I'll be using your funds to buy a new SSD for my uh, projects folder on my computer because it seems like the read-write speed is the real bottleneck for compile time at the moment on my system at least.
Uh, if you're looking to support the channel too, you can find a Kofi link in the description or join the YouTube memberships if that's more your style. While you're down there, there you can find the Discord link. Feel free to jump in and say hi. Always great to have a chat with fellow devs. Thanks for watching this way too long a video uh, all the way to the end. And until next time, good luck and have fun.